What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have 7 star rank 2 werewolf by night in the CCP. And man, I really think this guy is actually a great champion. Most people think he needs like a little bit more damage. And I would say in some situations he definitely does. But man, he's got some really cool, cool things and I'm going to show you in this video. So, we have this Drax and this is actually kind of like his not too ideal matchup. He only has like one buff, this Drax. But I just want to show you the 7 star rank 2, how fast you can take down like about 200k health pool. And then close to like 700k health pool. So the standard rotation is we apply the ruptures, we do our howl. And then we always want to howl or get to a bar power when the opponent is suffering from the ruptures. Which is really easy to do because ruptures just last for so long. Uh, our medium attack ones and the light attack. So now we trigger the curse. We got 10 stacks and the special two just even with one buff it just destroys him and then yeah those ruptures are, are taking for so so much so that was a 38 second fight for 200k helpful so you know about about a background fight like if you're fighting like a six star not seven stars uh, but there are some some six stars that have 200k helpful like dr doom has one and i bet you you can definitely do doom because most of werewolf's damage is basically red numbers. And, you know, you can kind of like bypass Doom's critical resistance. And this is the longer Drax fight, which is going to take longer, of course. Uh, but this is what I try to do. I try to get to 10 so I can trigger my curse before I actually get to the special 3. Because this actually kind of tricks sometimes. Because that power gain he gets when you howl, it's really great. I really love it. It's one of my favorite things. My favorite thing about uh, Werewolf is his regeneration. And you're going to see why uh, in the next clips. So the first special 2 took him down to 70%. And as you can see, those Raptors were taking for pretty pretty decent damage right there. And uh, forgot to mention this is without suicides. I'm going to show you with suicides as well what Werewolf can do. So we'll try to keep our 10 charges right here. Luckily, he was being a bit little too aggressive there. So we kept them up. And there we go, some nice 10k red numbers. And he's just taking for a lot. We still didn't lose our curse. Now we lost our curse and he's pretty much dead. Like 20% health is like nothing. So we just gotta get to special 2. I howl there to become unblockable, get the power gain. And I feel like we're gonna pop the special 2 now. I don't know if we're... Actually, we might get to the... No, we're gonna pop it. Yeah, there we go. We do not need the red numbers now because the ruptures are going to do it right there. So this was a minute and 30 seconds. Let's see suicides now. So this is the old man Logan, 1.5 million. We also have a couple of synergies. There is one that gives me a fury and you can stack as well. A passive fury that lasts for like less than a second, but it's paused on my special attacks or something. So we start the fight by getting hit. Not too bad. Yeah, this is the passive fury where it gets paused during my specials, I believe. Uh, I don't even know if that's a potent fury, but you know, it's just a synergy that Werewolf has. We also start with a Vicious Passive, which actually makes us deal a little bit more damage for the first 30 seconds of the fight from debuffs. And there's also a Physical Resistance, uh, Physical Vulnerability when we Howl, I believe. Those synergies are nice to have, but I don't think they're game changing for Werewolf. We Howl, and uh, here I think I'm going to go for the Special 2, because I got a little bit too much power, or I might just wait. You know, you can just wait it out to get your health. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going to howl into the unblockable SP2, which I missed a little of those hits. Because I didn't even think I had time to, like, do the dash back to the dash in. Because I was getting power gain from that howl. You know, his power gain is really great, man. Especially when you have, like, less bars of power. So he's got some buffs now. Look at those red numbers. Because this is going to be a big special too. We'll still see them. So this was 17k. And that pops three times. And the Raptors are taking, man. Now we got those 10 Furies, those 10 passive Furies. Like, I don't even know how that thing works. That passive Fury thing. But I'm getting it. But now we lost it. Yeah. I don't even know if those Furies are doing anything. But that's like decent damage for a Werewolf. I don't think he benefits too much from Suicides. I don't know if the Raptors are actually... If the damage gets increased. I think it doesn't. Because if it did, you know, I think it would have... It would have been a lot better than the previous matchup. Um, so yeah, we go for another power gain. We gotta pop the special one here because we're gonna lose our uh, 10 charges there. 
So now we gotta build it up again. So he's not the best for like longer fights because you know, he doesn't have like crazy ramp up. He can only deal that much damage, you know? So it's honestly better to use him for a fight where, you know, the opponent has buffs and you can build up a lot of power from MD and just, you know, get to keep your 10 charges. The best matchup for Werewolf is if the opponent has two or more unique buffs. And you're gonna see it next, because man, that is that is his great matchup. His greatest matchup. He's got a couple of buffs here. We'll pop the special two, not too bad. 3 14Ks. We go in because we're unblockable, and he's done. Like the, after the special two, the damage is actually really high too because the ruptures are so strong. So it took him like two minutes and 30 seconds. You know, not the best for longer fights, but not the worst either. All right, so up next, this is my favorite use of werewolf. So this path right here, they have explosive personality, which means armor buffs that last indefinitely. So we're gonna give him four right now. We're not gonna hit him for the fifth time. Actually, we might. I think we will. But basically, I want him to have some of his energizers, or at least one, and some of his armor ups. So now I think I'm gonna hit him, maybe. Okay, I'm getting hit now, because I wanna show you the regeneration. So we lost like a lot of health, look at this. We have 5% health. Now take a look at our regeneration. The regeneration is just so crazy because it lasts for how, mu how much our curse is gonna last. So if I get to keep my 10 charges, the region is gonna last indefinitely. And since this guy has two unique buffs, if I'm far away, my curse is paused. And if I hit him, it's still paused. So as you can see, when we're from out, out of the distance, we're healing like crazy. And when I hit him, it's still paused. So look at this. Because he's got indefinite buffs, I'm just regening forever. Look at this damage. We have 5%. We finished at 70%. Did you see that? Man, that is like, look look how, how good that regeneration is, even with the incinerates. Healing for 956. Man, that is just... That's definitely one of the best regenerations. You know, if you wanted to make, if you want to make it like more potent, you need like the six stones. Cause he, I think he heals up to 7.5% health based on the unique buffs on the opponent. And he caps out on eight unique buffs. This guy has only two unique buffs. Could you imagine how much more potent that would be if the, this guy had like more buffs? So there's two reasons why I really like using this guy when the opponent has, you know, two or more unique buffs. The first reason is that regeneration, you can make it last forever. You know, you, if you're trying to bait a special, it doesn't matter. You're just, you're just out of a distance, it's still gonna be paused. And if you hit him, it's still gonna be paused. So you get to keep your curse, which means you keep, keep your regeneration, but you also keep the ruptures, which are dealing, I think, 7.5 or 30% more potent or something. Uh, it's, dude, it's really crazy. And then also you get like the big juice from the special two, which is based off like buffs on the opponent. And that special two, man, yeah, it did deal a lot of damage. Like, look at that. Yeah, that was, and look at him. He's just ticking down. He's dead, <laughs> man. That is, that was a, definitely my favorite fight uh, in this, uh, in this video. And now I want to show you his most ideal matchup, a champion with many buffs. So here, I'm using my 5-star rank 1. 5-star rank 1 werewolf. And I'm fighting my rank 5 ascended Hulkling in the CCP. So, you know, this is a big difference in attack health. So, I try to make it a little bit more realistic. So, in this fight, this guy's probably going to have like 2 more buffs as well. He's always going to have regen. Sometimes he's going to have the indestructible as well. Or his fury. Which means I'm gonna do more damage and I'm gonna have my, my thing paused, my curse paused. And we're also gonna have the indefinite generation. So I think we're here, we're gonna howl uh, in a second here. There we go. Pop the special two. Some of it hit the indestructible, but it's okay. Bait the special two easy. He's already at 70%, that's not bad at all. And this clip is without suicide. So the, the, the only clip that was with suicide is the old one, Logan one. And there we go, we got another power gain. Look at this power gain, man. We're just close to special two. It's so nice. 
bait that special two. He doesn't have any cosmic charges now, so this is a good opportunity to go for my special two. And this is gonna be a pretty bur bur bursty one. Look at that. Man, we took down like 15% of his health. Now he's just taking down again because the raptors are so much stronger because the curse is just active all the time. He's got two two buffs, two unique buffs, and it's just lasting forever. Look at this, it's just paused. And if I hit it, it's still paused. The power again allows us to go for another special two. We're gonna pop it, and this Hulkling is just shredded. For my five star rank one, six star seven Hulkling, shredded. In a minute and 30 seconds. It's just, man, this guy is so good when there's like so many buffs, but not just, you know, the same buff. If you have, if the opponent has two or more unique buffs, it just allows you to pause your curse. Like when we trigger the curse, we did not lose it at all. Like, look, look at this. When we trigger the curse, it never went away. It was always paused. And it doesn't last for too long. It's just paused forever. Look at this. Like the whole fight, the curse, look at the timer. It's just slowly going away, but at the most part, it's just pause right there. This was like a minute and 30 seconds. We have one curse, and we still have like 50% of that time to spend on the curse. So yeah, man, I really like Werewolf. I really want to get him. He actually is really hard to fight. I I fought one in my main account. Someone had a 7 star rank 1, and he's actually pretty tanky in defense as well. But man... He's just so fun when the opponent has two or more unique buffs. You just you can you get to keep all your damage basically, um, and not to mention that regeneration. It's it's pretty OP if you ask me. This is probably the best regeneration because uh, it's just it's just lasting forever. If you can find the right matchup or the right node, this guy is literally immortal. Like there, there's no way he dies, uh, even if the opponent is being stingy by not throwing the specials. You just pause it. You just don't care. So, yeah, man, I think Werewolf is is pretty fun. His damage might be a little bit underwhelming if you're not using him in the right scenario. But if you use him for someone that has buffs, he's definitely great. His power gain is very potent. You can build up back to the special two so fast when you trigger how. And I'm just pretty happy with Werewolf, to be honest. I don't think he needs any buffs or anything. I think he needs to be used like on the right matchups with buffs. Uh... You know, his only disadvantage being the Mystic class, he doesn't have a way to deal with buffs. But that's based, like, based on his kit, he actually doesn't want to counter the buffs. You want the opponent to have buffs. You do not want to nullify or neutralize them. So he's kind of like a different champion, like Absorbing Man. Doesn't counter the buffs, but he actually benefits from them. So yeah, man, what do you guys think about Werewolf? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.